Hey guys, I'm Nick and it is NFT use day, it's second video out of four. In the previous video I've talked about what you need to prepare and what you need to do before actually minting your artwork, but today I want to talk about the market itself and what's going on with the NFTs and crypto art and, and the crypto itself in the last, let's say, month. Because it's been quite a bit sad and uh, we see a bit of downslide but it is I promise it is actually better for you if you haven't minted uh, or sold any of your artworks and let me tell you why so if we talk about the NFT as a technology it's just a way to sign a contract basically a market deal between two ethereum wallets or any yeah cryptocurrency wallets but essentially the places where are selling our art those are marketplaces and the rules are exact same for every other market and uh, just to answer the question how to be successful selling your art and blah 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 just take a look at the world's famous brands and why they are famous because that's the exact same market and the competition there is even stronger and harder than you might assume is in the nft there's this term called marketing and i know a lot of artists don't like to use that because it's it sounds salesy businessy but guys you want to sell your artworks you want to sell products your art is essentially a product and you you got to use marketing you get to position yourself in that market because all the guys that are selling their art for millions or thousands they invested in their self as a brands as an art artist brands all right yeah but anyways, they, they invested tremendous amounts of money and time. Right now, with the, some of the cryptocurrencies going down, uh, we see that the interest and the amount of transactions um, in NFT are decreasing. But actually, I think that it's, it's good. It's, uh, it's basically the correction of the insanely inflated market because the offer was much much more higher than the demand basically it means that there were so many nfts minted then that only just a small percentage of those could be ever collected by the number of collectors in the nft in the nft game and uh, why for you as an artist who wasn't able to mint or sell uh, your art yet why it's good i'll tell you so i sold my first artwork in january and uh, it was the time when nft got like major attention because in december people sold his every days for i don't know how many millions but very big stack of money so uh, yeah and my my artwork was sold like in a in a half an hour the, the auction began in a half an hour and that's the time where every third or second artist i know or 3d designer if you want i know um it starts to minting their artwork and they start to mint some of their old stuff they they just throw it up on marketplace and then complain why they are not selling and right now i think that nfts are here to stay and i'm pretty sure um, just because it's it's a market and when both parties i mean sellers and buyers are getting profits i'm speaking more about the secondary market for collectors so when the money is rotating inside that circle everything is good and the market can live healthy but yeah what it means for you so now i think it's really really great time to prepare yourself and prepare your brand and market yourself correctly not just like throw it on variable tweet about it once you minted it and then forget about that 
it's not how it works. It's another community and uh, the techniques you use to get a job or a client, they are not working in the NFT community. So it's uh, so I can speak about this and go around it forever, but but I just want to walk you through a few steps that helped me to sell majority of my art. So your first step, and that's that's for a long run, right? So if you want to just quickly drop some stuff and. Uh, if, maybe if you have a large following number and you are famous, uh, probably you are not watching that video, but then yeah, you maybe you can drop that uh, NFT and uh, it will sell. But if you don't have a huge following, chances are that first thing that you should do is start being active in NFT community, because NFT community is extremely supportive and uh, it's much more valuable to get a retweet from a fellow artist that you interacted in some way um, than trying to build your audience from the ground zero and all that stuff. So my first advice would be build good relations with other artists in the NFT community, share their artwork, comment if you like that, but be genuine and that will help you to get attention because you know when anyone retweets Basically, that tweet is showing on their feed and as many retweets as you get, it really adds a chance that a collector will see your artwork and that's how you will get your bid or sell your artwork. So when you know that a few collectors are following you on, let's say, Twitter, because for me, I don't push on Twitter that much, but 99% of the sales I got them from Twitter. So second point is to do a promo even before the drop. So it's in the marketing, <laughs> it's called like preheating your audience. Like they, they must be aware that soon you will drop this artwork or mint this artwork. And uh, basically what it means, uh, to me, I was doing just a few still frames, maybe blurred from the animation I will be minting and uh, some catchy titles, you know, and uh, also the good idea is to add a logo of the marketplace where you will be minting that stuff. Also, when your artwork is available, don't do just Twitter. You can do Instagram, Twitter, Reddit, Facebook, Showtime, try showtime.com, it's really great. I think Electro called Aito, Aito, uh, build his own kind of social platform for NFT artists. So yeah, please be sure that you are on every social network, social media network that basically exists. There is no such thing that too many uh, posts about your artwork. So yeah. Also, the really important part is also if you study marketing, that should be no more than three clicks or like links to your artwork from the moment potential collector sees it. So if a collector finds a retweet or your tweet uh, saying that your artwork is available, it's minted there and there, um, basically the good practice is to add a link in the description because it's just, it's basically one tap. So it sees it, it wants to buy it and there are basically no other questions for him he just places the bid, because there was a link in the tweet. Also, when you minted your artwork and it's available, there are many, many, many controversial <laughs> things about uh, shilling posts on tweet. Basically, someone tweets, shill me your art, I am buying, or maybe something like, we will find you a collector, blah, 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 all that stuff. But in my experience, actually, those posts are good because instead of just posting uh, your art and that same message from yourself, like it's it sounds strange, uh, instead of doing that, you just kind of reply to these shill posts, but uh, yeah, you basically 
you are announcing your artwork over and over again and then there is also a chance that a collector will see your artwork. Also, uh, I would say in the NFT community, it's being that friendly and supportive. Don't act as a like that you are above all of them, or maybe uh, basically, yeah, don't don't act like a, like a shit. Because it's first of all, it's a community. The part when you have millions of uh, followers and you just drop the art and it's sold. Uh, I'm I cannot tell you anything about that in, in this video because I'm not that right person but for all the fellow artists that are not yet famous it's a long run and you should be prepared to invest your time in your social media uh, just don't look like a artist from a, from a stone age I mean we are here and we we are doing money with our art and it's absolutely normal and uh, yeah just make sure that your social media profiles look good uh, your voice in in social media is right and uh, and be yourself too yeah you don't want to act as a, as a different person NFT as itself it's a community and you should build yourself in that community you should interact with people you like and uh, support them and they will support you and that cannot happen in just one night right for me the times like in january where i posted my artwork minted my artwork and uh, it's it's being sold it's not about that and i i haven't got any of my pieces to be sold instantly is just not that state of the market as it was in January and of course many 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 artists that sold just one or two pieces will go but that's actually the market correction I'm talking about and uh, that means that when the market will be more stable it will be healthier and everyone in that market will benefit so what I tried to say that just build yourself, be prepared, be part of the community that's creating this huge NFT movement and basically the, the NFT community is the market of NFTs. So yeah, to conclude, my best advice would be be the part of the community, build your social media and your artist profile right, uh, do promos, do pre-drop promos uh, also do participate in these shield posts i know many people don't like it but if it's the way to promote in, in in any form or way to promote your art let's just use that be yourself and let the world know about you that's all for today guys thank you so much for watching this video if you enjoyed it please subscribe to my channel and leave a like and maybe drop a comment if you have any questions or feedback about this video or the nft in general i'll be very glad to hear it next video about nft will be next tuesday and if you don't want to miss that click that bell icon so you'll be notified when the next video is up thanks so much once again i'll be back very soon bye